cyber SUV coming? Tesla builds first 500 kilowatt supercharger. Plus, big surprise for investors. Is Tesla about to launch a new cyber SUV? And what if I told you the world's first 500 kilowatt supercharger is already under construction? Let's break it all down. Hey everyone, it's Ken here. If you're a Tesla fan, investor, or owner like me, today's episode is packed with game-changing updates. We've got four major Tesla news stories, from new vehicle designs to a massive supercharger upgrade and even a bullish delivery forecast from UBS. Be sure to stick around till the end. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Segment 1 cyber SUV and compact cyber truck. Let's start with what could be Tesla's next big vehicle, the cyber SUV. Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holzhausen, recently hinted that two new variants based on the cyber truck design are under consideration, a cyber SUV and a compact version of the cyber truck. While these aren't official announcements yet, the comments sparked major buzz in the Tesla community. What's fueling the speculation even more? A mysterious scale model resembling a cyber SUV appeared in Tesla's new sustainable abundance video. So this might not just be a casual idea. There may already be internal work happening behind the scenes. A cyber truck style SUV could be a game changer, offering that same bold design but in a package better suited for families or city driving. And a smaller cyber truck that could finally bring the cyber aesthetic to people who found the original model just too big. Again, to be clear, nothing's officially confirmed, but it's clear that Tesla's design team is thinking ahead and cyber truck might just be the start of a whole new family of vehicles. Segment two. First ever 500 kilowatt supercharger. Next up, Tesla has officially started building the world's first 500 kilowatt supercharger station in Campbell, California. This isn't just a minor upgrade. It's a next gen system with an entirely new power conversion unit, way beyond the current V3 or early V4 setups. For now, the only Tesla vehicle that can take advantage of 500 kilowatts charging is the Cybertruck. Model 3, Y, S, and X still top out at 250 kilowatts. But here's the big insight. This station is preparing for future Tesla models, likely equipped with high voltage battery systems. According to reports, this charger is built on a 1000 volt architecture which means it's future-proof for even more powerful EVs to come. It also uses new V4 cabinets with better efficiency, smaller footprints, and higher density layouts. TL, semicolon DR. Tesla isn't just building faster chargers. They're laying the groundwork for a whole new era of ultra-fast, high-voltage EV infrastructure. Segment 3, True Full Spec V4 supercharger station. And speaking of charging, Tesla is also building its first true V4 supercharger station, again in Campbell, California. You may have seen V4 posts popping up in other areas, but they were still connected to old V3 cabinets, meaning the charging speeds were limited. This time, Tesla's deploying a full V4 setup, both V4 posts and V4 cabinets. The station will reportedly include 16 V4 posts with charging speeds up to 500 kilowatts for passenger vehicles and a staggering 1.2 megawatts for trucks. That's clearly designed with the Tesla Semi and other large vehicles in mind. And thanks to the more compact design of the V4 cabinets, Tesla will be able to roll these out in more locations with limited space. It's a clear sign that Tesla is thinking far beyond today's cars. They're building the charging network for the next decade. Segment four, UBS upgrades Tesla Q3 delivery forecast. Now let's talk Tesla stock. 
UBS, one of the world's biggest financial firms, just raised their Q3 delivery forecast for Tesla from 431,000 to 475,000 vehicles. That's a jump of over 40,000 units, a strong bullish signal for investors. Why the sudden optimism? First, UBS believes that the US IRA tax credit, which gives buyers up to $7,500, could expire in September 2025. That's driving a wave of early demand as people rush to buy before the credit disappears. Second, Tesla's refreshed Model Y with design tweaks and updates has reignited buyer interest. Even though this revised forecast doesn't quite match Tesla's record of 495,000 deliveries in Q4 2024, it still shows strong momentum and could help sustain Tesla's valuation in the short term. UBS also projects 1.62 million vehicles delivered for the full year 2025, which shows they're betting on strong overall demand continuing. So what does all this tell us about Tesla's next moves? First, the cyber SUV and compact cyber truck show that Tesla may be preparing to expand the cyber design language, turning it into a full product line just like Toyota did with the Prius. Second, the 500 kilowatt and V4 supercharger rollout shows that Tesla is building infrastructure ahead of the curve, even if today's cars can't use the full potential yet. That means future models are likely being designed with ultra-fast charging in mind, possibly with battery innovations to match. And finally, UBS's forecast tells us that demand is still strong especially in key markets like the US, where policy shifts could create bursts of buying, put it all together, and it looks like Tesla is entering a new phase, designing not just cars, but a fully integrated electric mobility ecosystem. By the way, yesterday, I took a quick family drive and stopped at a supercharger in Kumamoto. I usually charge at home, so I don't use superchargers often, but this time, I plugged in, went to the bathroom, grabbed a snack, and boom, we were at 80% in no time. When I used to drive gas cars, I always filled the tank every time. But now, I only charge what I need. No waiting around, no full charges required. And once we get 500 kilowatt stations, that charging time is going to feel even shorter. Alright, let's wrap it up. Which of today's stories stood out to you the most? Would you buy a cyber SUV if it came out? Or how would 500 kilowatt charging change your road trips? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I love hearing from this amazing Tesla community. And if you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a like and hit that subscribe button. I post Tesla news and analysis every day, so don't miss out. Thanks for watching and let's keep enjoying the Tesla life. Before we wrap up, let me take a moment to introduce myself. I drive a Tesla Model Y, and at home, I've installed a Tesla Powerwall, so I actually charge my car with solar energy. I truly believe Tesla is shaping the future, and that's why I share the latest news and insights here on this channel. I'm from Japan, but I want to connect with Tesla fans all around the world. That's why I also create an English version of my videos. YouTube now lets you switch the audio into your own language so you can enjoy it in whatever language you prefer. Most of all, I'd love to connect with Tesla fans everywhere so we can support Tesla together. I also share updates on X, so feel free to follow me there and let's connect. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.